Bueno, simplemente quería agradecer eh, muy sinceramente a Viaje Walmart, eh, que es el responsable de fomento y de desarrollo en el municipio de Odense, que es una ciudad de aproximadamente unos eh, 170.000 habitantes, eh, procede de la gestión de la empresa privada y tiene una sólida y muy sólida experiencia en el desarrollo empresarial y en la promoción de crecimiento. Nos interesa muchísimo escucharle su experiencia digamos, para extraer algunas conclusiones de gobernanza para nuestro propio territorio. Eh, muchísimas gracias por estar con, con nosotros. Welcome a San Sebastián, eh, señor Walmart, y, y bueno, suya es la palabra. Ok, thank you very much. Uh, can, can you all hear me? Yes. Um, the first, the first uh, slide I should have brought was actually a slide showing showing where is uh, Odense located, because I, I assume uh, not many of you know where, where Odense is, but it's located right between Copenhagen and Hamburg, and Odense is a city of uh, 200,000 inhabitants, like San Sebastian, I understand. It's a city with proud traditions. Uh, we, we have uh, the fairy tale, uh, fairy tale writer Hans Christian Andersen, it's his hometown, um, and we had uh, a fantastic uh, uh, story uh, with a lot of uh, industry uh, in Odense um, uh, until, uh, yeah, from basically from uh, year 1800 until year 2000, we had, uh, we had a fa fantastic uh, story of, uh, of industry. We had uh, the, the largest port in Denmark, uh, in, in Linu, we, where we had uh, a shipyard, all the uh, ships from uh, uh, Maersk, uh, AP Müller Maersk, were built. We built the largest container ships in the world. We built them in Odense. We had a very large production of paper uh, at Dalum. We had a, a very big uh, textile industry at Brands, and, uh, and we had a brewery. Um, the good news is the brewery is still existing, but the rest of it is gone. It's dead. There's no industry uh, like uh, a shipyard anymore. Uh, no paper production, no textile. It's all gone, moved to the east. So we had to try to find a new uh, business model. Um, and basically what we have thought is um, the new type of industry that we see uh, in the world today is, uh, is IT. It's dominated by ideas. It's dominated by, by new business models. So, um, so basically the, the traditional way of supporting industries was by reducing, by, by reducing the cost of, of the companies, like reducing the taxes, um, like giving subsidies. Uh, this was the model that we had in the past, and that is very relevant for big production companies. But companies today that we have in Odense, the new companies we have in Odense today, that's IT, it's robotic, it's drones, it's welfare tech, it's a completely different type of industry. And they don't need, uh, well, they need it, but it's not so important. What is important for them is that they can get the workforce they need, they can get the specialists, they can get the IT people, they can get the people in robotics, they can get the new ideas, they can get the network, uh, and all of these things. Think of a company like, uh, like Airbnb. It's the world's largest hotel company, but they don't even own a hotel. And think of the largest taxi company in the world. That's Uber. They don't even own a taxi. So the business models are, are changing completely. And we have a little bit of this type of, of industry also in Odense, where they, where they think, try to help us grow instead of just reducing cost, anyone can do that. Cost competition is not relevant for, for Denmark comparing to, to many other countries. There are many other countries in the world that are much better in reducing cost than we are in, in, in Denmark and in Odense. Costs are much too high. So we have created three platforms for, for growth uh, to support our companies. We call it, the first one is, we call it O-Thinking. So that is, we, we support the companies with, with knowledge so that they can get the right people. We have three universities in the city. Uh, 
and so basically we have we have everything. We have IT, we have law, we have medicine, we have whatever is needed, uh, full fledged. And then we have added recently a contract with with the best thinkers in business, Thinkers 50. Uh, we have the contract uh, for for Europe, so we have contact to the best uh, thinkers uh, in the world in business. I'll come back to that. We have a lot of knowledge, especially on robotics. That's where we are specialized today. And we have a, a D school, which is a school for creativity and rethinking of new business models. And then we support the companies with, with uh, accelerators. We have, uh, we have test and prototyping facilities. For instance, we have 80 companies working in robotics. Some of them are very small. They cannot afford to invest in all this technology themselves. So we have, we have supplied them with the infrastructure on the different uh, technologies that they need. We support them with capital. We have a, a network uh, of business angels, etc., cetera, that we, uh, that we can uh, connect them to. And of course, uh, workforce is something that we, have, we, are, we, are, we are focusing on. From the past, uh, 10 years ago actually, we had a very, very high in unemployment rate in, in Odense um, due to this transition. I think it was around 10%. For Danish relations, this is very high. Today, it's, uh, it's around uh, 4 or 5%, uh, but still in Denmark, it's a, it's a bit high. So we have actually 5,500 people that are unemployed. But at the same time, we are lacking IT specialists and specialists in robotics. And we are, we are trying to, to change, we're trying to educate the 5,500, but many of them do not have the skills. So we also try to attract IT workforce and robotics workforce from outside. And this way we can help the companies to grow, and when they grow, then there will be jobs, maybe also for some of the 5,500 that do not have the right skills. And then we, uh, we try to support with, with network. You know, uh, business is, is, is about network. If you know the right people and you have some contacts, then, then you, uh, you also get uh, some exports. Um, so we do locally. We have a, a meeting point where all the people, business people can meet uh, locally to get to know each other so they can sell to each other and can, can support each other. We use the Thinkers 50 uh, network uh, that we have globally uh, to help our industry to go abroad and also global city partnerships. The Thinkers 50 is, is an organization that has been existing for, for, for 10 years. It's an organization that is uh, headquartered in, uh, in London they have now made, uh, formed a regional structure, so uh, there's a headquarter in Asia that's in Shanghai, there's one in, for the Middle East that's in Abu Dhabi, there's a headquarter for North America in New York, and, and for Europe uh, we have been so lucky to get the rights uh, to host all the activities for the Thinkers 50. You probably know uh, the, the Davos, uh, the, the World Economic Forum in uh, in, uh, in Switzerland, this is about economy and it's about refugees and all these uh, global trends. The, the conference that we have in, uh, in Denmark that we will host uh, in May for the first time will be for the top business thinkers and business people in, in Europe and we will invite uh, the top 500 uh, companies uh, from Europe to this uh, conference where, where all the major business thinkers will be present and we will discuss all new ideas and the world's uh, number one CEO appointed by Financial Times, uh, that's the CEO of, of, of Novo uh, and actually number eight on the list is the CEO of Lego and both companies are Danish and these people will also be present and, and give a speech. So, uh, so this will be a meeting point and a network uh, uh, for us and, and this is also a way to kind of look up, look, look out, see what's out there in, in the world, make our companies uh, grow. A bit about our robotics. Um, 
we have, uh, over the last, yeah, actually five years, it's, it's going extremely fast. What is, what is uh, yeah, what you all know is the, the new technology makes things happen so fast. Companies that, that were, once were uh, strong, like Nokia, uh, then two, three years later, even though they were the world leader two, three years later, then, then they're not an important player anymore. And uh, we have had the, the luck that we have uh, uh, had a focus on a, on a, a type of robotics uh, that can work together with people. It does not have to stand, stand behind a fence. This is not a dangerous robot. So it can be used for smaller production series and can work directly together with, with me, actually. It could stand next to me and we have programmed so it can do something for me that I don't want to do. Uh, or that does not make sense that I do because um, labor cost in Denmark and in many Western countries is, is much too high. So based on, on the success of uh, the Universal Robots, which is our largest company, it's actually Universal Robots is, is on MIT. MIT, they make a list of the 50 smartest companies in the world. There's actually only one company from Northern Europe on this list, and that is uh, number 25, and that is Universal Robots uh, from, from Odense. So this has been, been luck for us. Actually, this uh, type of uh, robots were developed uh, at our shipyard 10 years ago, or they were starting to think of this, uh, trying to survive because labor costs were so high in Denmark. And, and, uh, and seven years later, then this has been a major success for us. So, so ro in robotics, we have 85 companies now. We have uh, 30 higher education programs fo focusing on robotics and it's all in, in the city of, uh, of Odense. Here is the network we try to map with education, with companies, etc., that are working together in this cluster of robotics. You see it's very big. <laughs> um, yeah, and finally, what we are also uh, thinking of in, in Odense is that it also has to be a lively city. So we have uh, festivals and uh, and the museum and all these uh, kind of things. And I have a small video that I will show to you. Uh, I was told also to mention a bit how, 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 is, it, how is it done uh, in the city. And it's done in partnership. The city, uh, from the public side, has invested a lot of money, but it's done together <laughs> with the businesses and the universities. And I think it's very important that that the businesses are in charge, or the CEOs of the different companies are in charge of spending the money, and not, uh, not the mayor, not the people, or the civil servant, etc. You need to have, and, what, and this is also what we have, we need to have a board from, uh, from the private sector that can help investing the money in, in the right way. But also the educational institutions has to be part of it. Uh, and that has also been part of the success that we have managed to make our universities much more uh, focused on, on industry uh, than in the past. I'll show you a short video uh, from Odense and uh, then we can have some few questions. So let me see, how do I do that? Was there someone here who could help? Was it here? It's here, yeah. It's here, yeah, it's here. So. I got this feeling inside my bones. It goes electric, baby, when I turn it on. All through my city, all through my home. We're flying up, no ceiling when we in our zone. I got that. Sunshine in my pocket, got Thank that you. good soul in my feet. I feel that happen in my body, it drops. Ooh, I can't take my eyes off it, moving so phenomenally. Come on, back the way we rock it, so don't stop. It's under the lights when everything goes. No better hurt when I'm getting too close. When we move, well, you already know. So just dance, 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 
Thank you very much. Yeah.